Hello there, my name is Nancy Watt and today I'm going to show you a solution to a problem that some of us crafters have from time to time and that is when you're die cutting, your dies don't cut right the way through, often when you're putting it in the centre of your uh, cutting mat or it's a really large die and uh, you, you're really struggling with it. So I want to show you, that, look, this is what's happening. It's been put in the centre of the uh, cutting mat because, quite frankly, the rest of the cutting mat has been used over and over and over again. But this is what happens. I've put this through twice, it's not cutting. And I will need to carry on putting it through and putting it through. But there is something that we can do about that. I want to show you hot spot helper. It is ingenious. So let me tell you about it. So what is the hot spot helper? Well it is a, an ingenious uh, piece of kit that you're going to go to time and time again. It is actually um, from the aeronautical industry and it is this really clever piece of equipment. So I'm going to put that straight onto my cutting mat. Now for me, the, the least sweet part of my cutting mat is the centre. That's where I have problems. So I'm going to just literally do that. It's self-adhesive. Turn it around and just tuck it on the other side. Now if you've got um, a piece on your cutting mat that you always have a little area where it's a little bit duller, it doesn't cut right through, then just cut a piece of this off and put it on your cutting mat. I want to put it on the hole at the center because that's where I know that I, I, I get least temp, uh, pressure when it's going through the machine. So I'm gonna find the uh, little die. Actually, it's not a little die, it's a big die. I'm gonna put that right in the center. Now, I always tell everybody, go to the top corner, go to the uh, other top corner, go along here because that's where all your pressure is. It's not such a problem when you have one of these. Let me show you what it looks like when I cut it. So there's my cardstock going right over the top. You can see that this is well used, but it's, it's um, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of life in it yet, but can you see all of the use is going around the edges on both sides. Look, it's all around the edges. The only ones that are in the centre are probably matting and layering dies. Right, so that's going to change when you get the hot, hot spot helper. Right, let's have a go. I'm using an, a grand calibre that um, we've had for quite some time. It's well used, so I'm just going to pop that through. There we go. Now, because that hot spot helper is very, very, very thin indeed, it doesn't interfere with your calibre. It's not going to um, get, get tight as you put it through. It's going to be absolutely fine. There we go, taking it all the way back. So I've put it through twice, there front, there back. Let's just move that away out. So let's have a look. Right, so this die, there you go, you can tell straight away. This die stays in the card unless you put it with the edger die. So I'm just going to take that out. In fact, it's done such a good job, I'm going to have to take my pokey tool and just le lever it out. There we go. Just gently. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. I can't believe the difference between my first cut and this one. Okay, there you go. You can see all the little bits and pieces there. Any pieces that are left, which is not very much at all. There we go. I think I've got virtually all of it there. Now, there you go. Look at that. That's my one with the hotspot helper. This is the one without. What a difference. Look at that. And that's why you need the hotspot helper. <laughs>